Hello guys, my name is Prince and this is my center. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Post your comments and questions on my social media handles and I'll respond to it. We are on the topic vectors. In the previous video, we learned about parallel vectors and we saw some questions under parallel vectors. In this video, we are going to learn about perpendicular vectors. Two vectors are said to be perpendicular if the angle formed between them is 90 degrees. So if you have two vectors such that when you draw them on a diagram, the angle formed between them is 90 degrees, we say that those two vectors are perpendicular. How will you know if two vectors, if two vectors given to you are perpendicular? If vector A is x1, y1 and vector B is x2, y2, and vector A and vector B are perpendicular. Then, x1 times x2 plus y1 times y2 is equal to zero. So if two vectors are perpendicular, if you multiply the x components and you add it to what you get when you multiply the y components, you should get zero. So as you can see here, x1 times x2, which are the two x components, they are products plus the product of the two y components y1 times y2 when you add these two products you should get zero let's pick some questions and see how to apply this in solving questions we have two questions here the first one says that we should investigate whether the flowing vectors are perpendicular then the second one says we should find x if these two vectors are perpendicular so let's pick the first one we are going to investigate whether minus 4, 3 and 8, minus 6 are two perpendicular vectors. We said that if, two, if these two vectors are perpendicular, then minus 4 times 8 plus 3 times minus 6 must be 0 or must be equal to 0. So what you do is that you find minus 4 times 8 sorry you find minus 4 times 8 plus 3 times minus 6 if it's 0 then it means that these two vectors are perpendicular so we are going to do that on our calculator so minus 4 times 8 then plus 3 times minus 6 so plus 3 times minus 6 and what do we get? We are getting minus 50. When you find minus 4 times 8 plus 3 times minus 6, we are getting minus 50. But we said that if these two vectors are perpendicular, when we find it, we should get 0. So since minus 8 times minus 4 times 8 plus 3 times minus 6 is not equal to 0, the two vectors are not perpendicular. Because if they are perpendicular, then minus 4 times 8 plus 3 times minus 6 must be equal to 0. Let's pick the next question. Investigate whether minus 1, 3 and minus 3, minus 1 are perpendicular. Investigate whether these two are perpendicular. We know that for these two to be perpendicular, minus 1 times 3 times minus 3 plus 3 times minus 1 must be 0. So if these two vectors are perpendicular, then if you multiply the s component here by the s component here, and you add it to multiplying the y component by the y component, you should get zero. So what is minus one times three? So from here, we are going to do this on our calculator. So minus one, minus one times minus three, then you open another bracket 3 times minus 1 and that is giving us 0 now since this is giving us 0 we can say that minus 1 times minus 3 plus 3 times minus 1 is giving us 0 so the two vectors are perpendicular so to find out whether the two vectors are perpendicular Multiply the s component here by the s component here. Then add it to what you get when you multiply the y component here to the y component here. 
If you get zero, then the two vectors are perpendicular. If you don't get zero, the two vectors are not perpendicular. Let's take the other question. Find the value of x if 9x is perpendicular to 6, 3. Now, the question says that these two vectors are perpendicular. We know that if two vectors are perpendicular, then if these two vectors are perpendicular, if you multiply 9 by 6 and we add it to x times 3, we should get 0. If you multiply the x component by the x component and we add it to the y component by the y component, we should get 0. So 9 times 6 plus x times 3 should give us 0. 9 times 6 is 54. x times 3 from algebra, we know that that is 3x. We have to make x the subject, so you send 54 over to this side. So 3x is equal to minus 54. From linear equations, we know that we have to divide both sides by 3. So we divide the left-hand side by 3, we divide the right-hand side by 3, and x is giving us minus 18. So if these two vectors are perpendicular, then x is equal to minus 18. 18. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In the next video, we are going to learn how to find the magnitude of a vector. Bye-bye.